So walking into ghost camp was kind of a weird trip for me, guys. I'm not going to lie about that. First off, when it comes to the front of the book here, in front of you, I'm pretty sure that you see that there's a glaring issue with the front of the book, if you've read the book yourself, actually. Because you know that there's no uh, main girl protagonist in the story. is two boy protagonists in the story, of course. But I guess Tim Jacobus at the time probably didn't know anything about who the character was going to be that was going to take the lead of the story. But, well, we'll let it go. It happens sometimes. It's, so, <laughs> it's actually better than some other covers seen back in my day, which actually just screwed over the entire freaking plot itself. But anyway, so Ghost Camp is kind of a weird one for me, guys. It's not bad. It's just something that you kind of already have seen in other Goosebumps books before. It has some elements of Walking the Dead House, even though in that book it dealt with zombies, not ghosts. And let's get invisible because of the book's ending. <laughs> And also we have uh, The Curse of Cam Cole Lake. And speaking of which, this is not really too, uh, too, too big of a deal, but I've actually read all the camp stories in the original 62 series of Goosebumps. You got Welcome to Camp Nightmare. You've got Horror Camp Jelly Jam. You've got Ghost Camp, of course. And then you have The Curse of Cam Cole Lake. So give us a pat on the back for doing that, guys. Just, that was uh, something I just noticed just a while ago while doing this video. But anyway, so the whole atmosphere about the book is kind of like just, you know, playing pranks on the kids. It seems like by playing pranks on the kids, it seems to be like a recurring theme in these books. It just never gets tired of it. I have to wonder when Simon was a kid himself, too, he probably got pranked on a lot by kids either the same age same or older or something or whatever <laughs> um so when you read this book here it feels like you just come across the whole thing with the you know pranks being pulled and stuff and then you have weird things happening on the camp too and you have pretty much no real buildup is in the thing as of yet until we get to way later in the book. But you kind of still see that there are glaring problems uh, are up there when it comes to, oh, I don't know, getting a hot dog from the flame by putting your hand right into the fire, for one thing, and having a pole stab your foot and not feel anything. I don't know how the hell you can do that. Or when it comes to floating in midair, like it's just an everyday thing, it's just something they just do over there. No, it's not smoking mirrors, but it's actually for real. But I don't know why the kids never really had the idea to get out of the camp at that moment. I guess because they kind of thought that it was just the whole thing about the tricks that they did for tradition up there too. That's the reason why they didn't see too much of a thing there but if that was me up there instead of them i wouldn't want to get the heck out of there now i mean can't you can only take it so much until you just can't take any more in my mind but the story has a great premise when it comes to the characters even though the characters are kind of like you know they say their part they do their part for the time and then we go into the next chapter and stuff there's not really like a whole lot that happens during the time until we get to near the later part of it which then gets kind of screwed up itself too when we get to the monster that happens to be in the book too yes there's an actual monster that gets the uh harry and alex the two brothers but the thing is it's all just an imagination it's all just a trick made up by the ghost kids in order to get them to trick them to be more uh, scared of the things there, but then when they start not believing in it, then they actually beat the monster, and try the same thing with the ghost campers there too, saying they don't believe in them, but the problem is that it doesn't work on them at all, because reasons. They're ghosts, probably so. Um, it has to feel with the, you know, because the, cause the kids need to take on the minds and bodies of other living people in order for them to survive and it kind of felt like the same thing when it came to curse camp cold lake you know with um i think brianna uh wanted to be uh sarah's buddy she needed to have someone there to be friends with 
So, but really just to kind of bring her to where she is so she's not alone. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. But this book was okay. This book was okay. And why I said the reason why Let's Get Invisible was in there too, it's mainly because of how in the end we do the old switcheroo with um, Alex, who's supposed to be a, you know, very good singer. And then we have Elvis here, which is the friend that Alex befriends at camp, who's a opposite, a very terrible singer, and he happens to actually have uh, pretty much taken over Alex, basically, somehow. And I thought that was kind of, like, screwed up, though, but <laughs> at least one of them got the win when it comes to it. But I don't know about that, guys. Yeah, this book was pretty much okay for me, though. The, 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 the writing was pretty good here and there sometimes, but then when it came to the you know, end with the monster and stuff, and then the ending stuff too, it's like, it's just usual fare for goosebumps, basically. Yeah, I, I can't really say too much about the story, because it is, it is what it is, you know, and I hope that you enjoy my read of it too, and if you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe for the chapters too, if you choose to, you know, want to check it out. I still plan on doing goosebump reads in the future, you know, for how many books are left out there, or at least some, they're not going to be a total drag like, you know, some other books out there tend to be. I'm looking at you, Go Eat Worms. I will probably never read the book on my channel because it's just so freaking bad. Shit. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, if you liked the uh, video, guys, you know, let me know about that in the comments down below, and I'll see you again next time, guys. Take care, and I'll see you real soon.